day three, 75 hard. My initial thoughts starting this journey, I don't know if I can confidently record myself for three, like for 75 days consistently of like what I'm eating, what I'm doing, cause it's just literally all the same. Um, yesterday I did two outdoor workouts, which were just like 45 minutes walking each. And it's kind of boring in my opinion. I work at a, a car dealership. And so sometimes I have to stay late at the dealership. And so yesterday I got off late. I didn't want to go to the gym and get home at 10. So I went for a 45 minute walk and I was done by before 8.30. I have a newborn, so I showered, we ate, we woke him up, bathed him, put him down for bed. It's just the inconvenience sometimes I feel like, like setting up like shots to make it look fancy and stuff. It's just, I'm not like super excited to do that. I'm, I'm tired. Like I said, I have a newborn baby. I, uh, I mean, I have my own, I have my daily struggles. I don't have like necess necess necessarily, I don't have the time to just like stop what I'm doing, set up a tripod and like record myself on a little montage of what I'm doing for that day for 75 hard. Like if you go look at some videos, you know, they try to make it look cinematic but instead of putting that pressure on me, I'm just doing like the bare minimum of 75 hard. And even then, like it's not easy. Even though it's easy, it's so easy. It's just not easy because one, I, got a, I have a newborn, I got a full-time job I gotta squeeze in two workouts on top of that. Like, I don't wanna go to the gym for your like, it says 45 minutes, but for, to get like an actual workout for what I do, my training regimen, I have to do mobility and warm ups and then get into the lifts because I am an injured athlete. Like, you gotta take in consideration of factors. Everybody's 75 hard journey is way different. And so instead of going and doing my regular training mobility warm up workout for pool day yesterday, I had to stay late for work to show vehicles, right? So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to obviously go do my 45 minute bare minimum outside because it's easy. And I get to walk and push the stroller and see my child. So it's easy because it's simple stuff like two 45 minute workouts. That's super easy read 10 pages a day. I love reading. I used to have a major like library before I got robbed, before my storage unit got robbed, which is a whole different story in itself. <clears throat> the diet thing is easy because I have a performance coach that I pay to tell me what I need to be eating. He does all my mobility workouts and whatnot. So he does my full coaching. Uh, I do jujitsu, so I like to go and do, you know, some nogi in the middle of the week sometimes. I do kickboxing. So I have structure of things that I need to do to complete 75 hard, super easy. The not easy part is I have to live a life. Like I have a full-time job, a newborn baby. I've got other factors as like far as injuries go. You know, I'm sacrificing a social life, which I'm not like too crazy about. So, like, I'm okay with that. But if anyone's ever attempted 75 hard, you get it. I've also had like a crazy drinking problem that I'm trying to get rid of. No, I don't think drinking alcohol is a problem, but like having an addiction of drinking is pretty bad. Like I have the fear of missing out, you know, and having a good time and I'm trying to get over that. So day three of 75 hard, my initial thoughts are it's easy, but it's not easy. Last time, this is my second attempt by the way. And last time I failed on day 29, I believe, because I was moving furniture in and outside. I was, you know, lifting all this furniture, couches, appliances, washing machine, dry machine. 
I was lifting all of that stuff by myself, so I considered it a workout, my outside workout, but I had an accountability group that I was in and they said, sorry, dude, that doesn't count. And I had already went to bed and you know, I did everything I was supposed to. And so I was just pretty much like, damn, 29 days and I failed it. And I was really upset with this group, but ultimately it's like, I knew I should have at least went for a walk or something, you know, went to the gym. Like I knew better, but still I was like, ah, that was work. I did, I did enough. So anyway, I failed that. And here we are my second attempt day three. And, uh, I'm just not motivated to just be all super cinematic, set up my cameras, this and that. Really, I just wanna see how, how I can physically change because my goals have changed and I really just wanna get in the best shape of my life. And I and I believe that the 75 hard is, is gonna help me do that. Um, again, just like last time, this was on a whim. Um, I don't know. I, I last. I mean, last time it was amazing, dude. I I was killing it every day with my check-ins. You know, just trying to like be as cinematic as possible, record my food, my workouts, this and that. I think I'm gonna do maybe like a weekly recap or the days that I'm off, like on Fridays and Sundays, I can make cinematic videos and whatnot. But um, I'm going to start checking in uh, on my Instagram, most likely like on my story and stuff like that, on my 75 hard journey. And uh, yeah, anyway, just wanted to make this video mostly because I need some sort of accountability. And if I put my business out in public, people will see that. And it just kind of like, well, if I did it in private and you know, I'm a big dude, okay? And I'm, I'm surrounded by food, free food all the time and, and sweets. And it's like, damn, I wanna eat that. If I eat that, I won't tell nobody this and that. But it's just more of like accountability thing. If you know, you know, you.